work hard like it, it, I mean every waking hour that's that's the the thing I would I would say if, if you particularly if you're starting a company I think some people do and um, but no I, th I think it, it, it is definitely true that I mean maybe there are occasionally companies that get created where there's not an extended period of extreme pain but but I'm not aware of you know very many of such instances but I, I do think that uh, new great entrepreneurs are, are born of every day and we'll continue to see amazing companies get built but I, I would uh, definitely advise people who are starting a company to expect a, a, a long period of quite high difficulty but I mean as long as people stay super focused on creating the absolute best product or service that really delights their end customer like if they stay focused on that then basically if, if, if you get it such that your customers want you to succeed if you want to be the most successful individual that you possibly can, you have to know how to manage your time. That is one of the most important, most crucial things you could possibly ever do. Everybody on this earth has 24 hours every single day, seven days a week, 30 days in a month. But it's all about how you use that time to the best of your advantage. Those people who just sit around and watch Netflix and play video games and do whatever aren't going to make the most of their time. But the people that do are the ones that who become successful. And you can tell because they're using their time efficiently and wisely. A lot of people complain about not having time to do things, but there's an easy solution. Make more time. You can either wake up earlier or stay up later and work on your craft. Just think, if you wake up two hours early every day for a month, how much extra time that is going into your goals, into your dreams that you are going to be pursuing, and you're going to have so much more time to learn and to understand and process what's going on with your dreams and how you can accomplish them and make connections and do this, that, and the other and grow and figure out what you have to do and figure out how to do it. And all that time, nobody's going to be bothering you. Nobody's going to be up. Nobody's going to be doing anything to distract you at four or five o'clock in the morning. So make sure you get that time and you put the energy in and you figure out how to become the best version of you and the most successful version you could possibly be every day. And you're going to be able to tell a huge difference after a month by having all this time. Your goals are going to be a lot closer than you thought they could ever be. I look at the future from a standpoint of the probabilities. It's like a branching stream of probabilities. And there are actions that we can take that affect those probabilities or that accelerate one thing or slow down another thing or make, you know, introduce something new to the probability stream. Sustainable energy will happen no matter what. If there was no Tesla, if Tesla never, never existed, it, it would have to happen out of necessity. It's tautological. If you don't have sustainable energy, it means you have unsustainable energy. Eventually you'll run out. Laws of economics will drive, will drive civilization towards sustainable energy, inevitably. The, the fundamental value of a company like Tesla is the degree to which it accelerates the advent of sustainable energy faster than it would otherwise occur. So when I think like, what is the fundamental good of a company like Tesla? If it accelerated that by a decade, potentially more than a decade, that would be quite a good thing to occur. That's what I consider to be the fundamental sort of aspirational good of, of Tesla. Then there's becoming a multi planet species in space bearing civilization. This is not inevitable. It's very important to appreciate this is not inevitable. The sustainable energy future, I think, is largely inevitable, uh, but being space bearing civilization is definitely not inevitable. So you've got to make sure that whatever you're doing is a great product or service. It, it has to be really great. And I go back to what I was saying earlier where if you're a new company, I mean, unless it's like some new industry or, or new market that, if it's an untapped market, or then you have more ability to, the standard is lower for your product or service. But if you're entering anything where there's an existing marketplace against large entrenched competitors, then your product or service needs to be much better than theirs. It can't be a little bit better because then you put yourself in the shoes of the consumer and they say, why would you buy it as a consumer? You're always going to buy the trusted brand unless there's a big difference. So a lot of times, uh, you know, an entrepreneur will come up with something which is only slightly better. Um, and it's, it's not, it can't just be slightly better. It's got to be a lot better. As Jonah was alluding to, you know, there, there are a lot of negative things in the world. There's a lot of terrible things that are happening all over the world, all the time. Uh, there are lots of problems that need to get solved. There's lots of things that are, yeah, that are miserable and kind of get you down. Life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to, be, to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. That's why we did this. This guy called Tsiolkovsky, one of the early Russian rocket scientists, the great saying, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but you cannot stay in the cradle forever. It is time to go forth, become its star-faring civilization, be out there among the stars, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. I, I find that incredibly exciting. That makes me glad to be alive. I, I hope you feel the same way.
So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let us know what you thought down in the comment section below.